we've arrived to Papua New Guinea. Which is the most recent island in the world to have still practiced cannibalism. Uh, how recent? You know, I'm not sure the answer to that question, Colette, but I think if you watch the video, you'll understand that it might not have been that long ago, actually. We have driven an hour through Papua New Guinea to get to this village. We are going to be the first tour group that has arrived here to shop at their local market. And it was a bit of a cultural shock. All these little houses here have a solar panel on them. And when I say that, I mean a solar panel. It was actually shocking, this island. All these vegetables here that are outside probably won't even be purchased. It's almost like the islanders don't eat on this island because a large percentage of them from the age of seven and up are addicted to lime powder, betel nut, and mustard bean. There's a lady that will give a demonstration of this. It was devastating to watch the hopelessness in these people's faces. Most of the stuff underneath this awning that was for sale had to do with the uh, drug paraphernalia that they used to do this. So it was definitely an interesting wake-up call and disturbing for all of us that visited. We gathered enough currency together from the guide and she brought us a bun that we ate tried here are betel nuts there and that is the mustard bean and these are the seeds that they can grow so that they can grow their own betel nuts driving on the way to the village we were passing all of these fords that were dry and i commented that if it kept raining was it possible that they would start overflowing with water and the guide and the driver just kind of were quiet. Turned out on the way back, it got so bad that we actually had to stop at one ford and wait for the water to go down so we could drive across it. That is the tribal chief of this village that we've come to with the blue hat on there. And this is a dance they're doing to welcome us to the community. 
This was a pre-arranged part of our tour where we would stop at a traditional village and see some of the skills that they used to live everyday life. The boys here are putting the roofing on a temporary house to show us how the prom fronds shed the water. It's kind of cool for a builder such as myself to watch it, see how they do this in another part of the world. These two ladies are weaving baskets out of palm fronds. Very intricate and very nice baskets when they get done. They actually use them to transport goods. They're not necessarily baskets that they sell to tourists. They're actual utility items that they use in their day-to-day -day life. So, she's smashed bitter nut and she's using mustard fruit and she's using coral powder as a lime and she's chewing it so it turned out to bread like this sticky food it's sort of like this guy so that's demonstration of chewing and then they'll do the peddling okay Hello. Want to have a joyride again. Oh, maybe yeah. later. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> they can take you down somewhere down. Right, exactly. <laughs> we might do that. Here, I'll take your picture. Well, I'll take the video. It's I'll okay. Take your video. You can okay. try it out. Okay. okay. The juice inside and the meat too inside. It's a food. Yeah. The food inside. Thank you. Thank you. You try, you try it, then I'll try it. Yeah. Apparently, I'm going to be the paddle demonstration. So I am going to get to paddle an authentic tree-carved Papua New Guinea outrigger canoe into the ocean and back. It's pretty cool.
Hey Chris, is that coconut yeah. keto? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If I recall correctly, they said this plane crashed 30 years ago into the ocean and that the pilot survived. Their word for someone not from the island is dim dim. So I went and asked some of the guys standing at the water if they thought a dim dim could walk across there. And they exuberantly told me they thought it was possible, but I'm pretty sure they just wanted me to get swept away off the ford and end up in the river. So I didn't attempt it.
this is a traditional canoe that has a sail and it's called a pow pow. This is the lime powder that is made from white coral that is baked and then ground up. There are still tons of vegetables, fruit, lots of carvings, but surprisingly enough, the drug supplies had been sold down quite a bit. Although this little section we're going through here had a lot of betel nuts and mustard root left so sad to see these people just sitting here begging for other people to buy their drug stuff. We came to visit the Milne Bay War Memorial here. This was the first place where the Allied forces gave a decisive defeat to the Japanese army. At Milne Bay, the Allied forces were mostly made up of Australian soldiers. Thank you. 